Hi, Robin here with a drill for anybody who's struggling to turn their shoulders correctly in the backswing. If you're the player who's making a, a long golf swing with a small shoulder turn, you've really only got one of two choices in the downswing. Accelerate your body from the ground up, hips first, shoulders second, like you should be. But as a result, your arms will always be staying too far behind your body. Depending on how you release the club, you might hit push shots or hook shots. Probably not hitting the ball all that solid as well. Number two, from this backswing, you're going to release the club first, accelerate the club head before your shoulders and your hips. And if you do this, yes, you might be able to get your arms and your body matched up once again, but by the time you get the impact, you'll probably find the club head's past your hands, you're scooping it, heavy shot, thin shots, a loss of power. So, if you're this player, try this drill. Separate your hands on the club, like so, and try to stretch the club shaft at a dress and throughout the backswing. If you do this, you'll get a feeling of your chest controlling your arms more, where your arms are staying connected to that turn. You'll be making a bigger shoulder turn with a shorter arm swing. Once you have a feeling, slide your right hand down the club and get a feeling for what that would feel like in the swing. Again, once you have the feeling, you can take your address as normal and try to repeat that same movement. You see, from here, it's going to be a lot easier to start your swing from the ground up, accelerating correctly, your arms and the club will be matched up, you'll be able to compress the ball with good club head speed. So give that drill a try, if you're somebody struggling to turn your shoulders correctly in the backswing, keeping your arms connected to that turn.